In this mini, I'll show you afterburners. These are an active module that gives you a thrust increase. Watch as I use them here a few times while I just cover a few things before we get into the video properly. If you want tactics for using afterburners in battle, you'll have to check out my main dropship series. Here I'll just show you what they do and a few of the dangers to watch out for. Also, please watch video 1.4.0. In that video, which I will constantly update, I'll delete it, then repost it when it becomes outdated, I explain how these minis work and how I intend to keep them up to date. I won't leave any out of date information in the current mini series. Anyway, 1.4.0 explains it all. There is currently only one afterburner module on the market. As you'll see, the fitting costs are quite high and it goes into a high slot. Because of this high slot fitting, I find they fit better into Galente dropships, as the high slots are not where your main tank goes. So, what does it do? It's an active module that, when turned on, gives you a speed boost. Or, that's what the description says. I'll show you a climb on normal thrusters, then the same climb on afterburners, and lastly, I'll split screen it so you can do a comparison. So, this is a normal straight climb. I'm simply holding down L1 to thrust on and go up. Now let's look at that same climb, but I'll activate the afterburner before I leave the ground. Looks quicker, right? But let's do a side-by-side -side comparison to see if it is, and if so, by how much. On the left is no afterburner, on the right I use an afterburner. That's clearly quicker with the afterburner, in fact it's almost double the speed. So what if I land, then turn it on while on the ground? Nothing. Okay, so what if I hover, then activate it? Still nothing. Unless you hit thrust, the afterburner does not do anything. Think of it as a thrust multiplier. Multiply zero thrust by ten, and we get zero. If you said ten, then please stay out of my airspace. Thanks. So we can see it speeds the rate you climb at. But what about level flight? First I'll fly along this road to the tower at the end with no afterburner, then again with the afterburner, and then again a split screen. So this is no afterburner. And now let's try with the afterburner. You'll notice when using the afterburner, the ship has more of a tendency to want to rise when you're trying to maintain level flight. It looks quicker, but by how much? On the left is standard thrust, with the afterburner on the right. This is the worst case scenario for the afterburner, standing start where you have to activate the module, then start to move. It's still quicker though. So afterburners make the ship fly faster, they can also make you fail faster. Watch what happens if I climb straight up using just L1 and the afterburner. No sticks, just a straight climb. The nose will rise and then at some point will split. This can hurt, although it doesn't have to. A non-afterburner climb does not do this. To stop this happening, simply pitch forward with the left stick when needed to keep the ship level. The afterburner makes the ship become lazy when it's turning. 
so it gives yourself greater turning space. These are very useful modules, I recommend scaling into them.